Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Z e. James, and this is Z32 Workshop. And this behind me, around me, is uh, Nissan 300ZX stuff, specifically uh, VG30DE, uh, soon to be TT stuff. Uh, the car is still in storage. Uh, it's going to have to come out here in the next week. I got to get a new battery in it, get ready for the autocross season this year, uh, as it's a car that I daily, I won't say daily drive, uh, weekend car, have fun driving to work. And stuff like that so and it's getting warmer out eventually do it but this video is not about that this video is once again about parts for the twin turbo build because i was once again lucky enough to score some no longer available not being produced as that would is what it is fuel rails for the car um right now i was planning on just using the factory ones and upgrading them with uh because right now it's an early style rail I was going to put an adapter kit on it and use uh, Nismo 555s um, for doing it. Still using side feeds and using the factory stuff. But I was lucky enough to score these. Let me show you in this box here, guys. Hopefully you guys can see this halfway decently. And what's going on here? Because in this box, I was able to score. So we can pull this all out of the way. Steel new seals, new hoses. Still in the packaging with the hardware, and we pull them out, hopefully, or at least one of them anyway. These guys, this is a 300 degree fuel rail that allows you to run and fittings everywhere. I got both sides on what's going on. Uh, each side is machined out. You can use it pretty much either way, in my opinion, I think. And right here is where you put your fuel rail temperature sensor. Uh, right here the screws this holds it down to this uh, this I'll throw the part number up what this is This works is meant for the early style um, system So these guys Let's pull this guy with me here Let's do one of these at a time Sorry guys Basically allows you well and they sit right here. I obviously got the system out but that's what these are for. Um, these AN fittings allow you to reroute and get rid of the old factory rubber hoses and actually run a lot better stuff. Um, yeah, I'm actually super stoked about these, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I got these really, um, I won't say cheap, but moderately cheap. I really wasn't planning on doing this for this project, but if I'm gonna do it, let's do it right which is the old adage of how you spend a lot of money, unfortunately. Uh, the other stuff I got in here, this guy never installed the kit, or if it did, it was very lightly. So there are the hoses here, uh, which he's got a couple ones he remade because he lost them. I'll probably have these redone because these haven't been made for a while, and I question the rubber in them, and I got a friend of mine who's got a speed shop that will take care of these for me. Uh, they'll help me out with doing all this. Here, so you guys can take a look at the bottom side here on these. Uh, I'm not sure what the AN fittings are on these. Not my forte. I'm going to have to educate myself. Um, and here's the rubber that would allow them to seat down on stuff. So this kit is really nice. I'm really excited for it. Uh, everything looks really well done. Now, that being said, right now, uh, I want to say Concept Z Performance is making, basically, I don't think they licensed the 300 degree rails or they bought them out. I'm not 100% sure on what they're doing there, but they've got stuff that looks very similar to this. This is nice aluminum, billet aluminum machined out. Um, this, once again, is still cheaper than going to top feeds. So there's letting, laying that out there for everybody. So yeah, super excited. Yay, look at this shiny new speed stuff to go with the stuff. Oh, let me show you where that would go. Is in this guy. They would go in here and mount down on top of the lower plenum. That's where that would go for these. Yay! I know the video camera shake. So, yeah, hopefully again, try to make this a nice short video for everyone. Um, just more parts I'm going to be using. Oops, sorry, I'm going to move you around. Hopefully all in one take. So, yeah. Brand new, shiny to me, no longer available, used racing stuff for doing stuff. This will allow me, the issue you gotta run with these is you can still run the factory pressure regulator and dampener. Uh, I will probably upgrade to something a little nicer to control, 
but I will still have to use it. I want to have a dampener, which helps out for drivability everywhere. So yeah, those will be coming too, because I'm going to have to order up one of those for a fuel pressure regulator and a nice uh, dampener. And I'm not sure what I'm going to, going to use yet. I've got some thoughts, but it's still up in the air. So once again, my name is E. James. This is Z3 Workshop. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and at the end, I should always say, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. So I'm pushing out this content once a week uh, to get stuff going, excited about working on 3 Xs and stuff you can do, do. And I've got something in the wind I'm working on that's going to be a nice side-by-side -side comparison that I'll show you guys in a couple videos later. Hopefully, I get the thing purchased to show what's going on. They need to be cleaned up. But once again, it's stuff that's no longer available because the guy doesn't make anything. And anyone who knows the thing, it's MSP. Oh, that's a little bit of a hint for anyone who knows. So once again, see you in the next video. Take care, and I'll see you then. Bye.